Today, Texas State Senator Roland Gutierrez and the Department of Public Safety faced off in court. So they're fighting over whether information about the Uvalde school shooting should be made public. As they continue, though, to investigate the law enforcement response, families are still in desperate need of support. And even with a lot of help that's pouring in from across the country, some more help is on the way. Austin FC's goalkeeper, Brad Stuber, thank you so much for being here and joining us in the studio right now. So you're taking the laundry project on the road to Uvalde. Yeah. And first of all, I, I know what the laundry project is, but for people who don't, explain what that is. Yeah, so the Laundry Project is a nonprofit that my wife Ashley and I work with. Uh, basically what we do is we fundraise money and we fundraise laundry supplies and then we go into a public laundry mat or laundry mats uh, and for about two, three hours we pay for anybody that walks through the door. Mm -hmm. Like we give them free laundry services, they can use the detergent and all that stuff and um, that's the basics of it. And Brad, for you, what led up to you all bringing the Laundry Project to Uvalde? So we've been involved with the Laundry Project since about 2016, mm -hmm. and we've done it in the communities that we play. Um, when the tragic school shooting happened earlier in the year, I think everybody went into brainstorming mode about how can we help the Uvalde community. Um, like the Los Verdes supporters groups started to go fund me. They raised over 200 and I think it's like $70,000. Wow. Um, and then we kind of brainstormed an idea of taking the laundry project down there closer to the time that school was going to be starting. And um, we're trying to just kind of ease the little bit of anxiety that back to school brings. Yeah, and so you all will do this August 7th and you'll be headed down there. What will this look like? I know sometimes, like you said, you do it for a few hours at a laundromat. Yeah. What will it look like there in Uvalde? So down there on Sunday, we'll be there from one to four. Mm -hmm. um, in the laundromat, we'll be paying for anybody that walks through the door during that time. Um, the 4 ATX Foundation will be down there with us. Um, they're going to be doing a kids' corner where we uh, have coloring books. We have books in English and Spanish that kids can take home with them. Um, and then also Austin FC, the club, are bringing like mini soccer balls for anybody that wants them. And uh, we're going to get some of the guys to sign them and like kind of give them away. So. And I know that there's a part, a coalition called Hope for Uvalde, and so that's another way that people can donate. Yeah. So right now. Uh, the the project is funded by itself and mm -hmm. it's all ready to go uh the next thing that we're kind of pushing is to clear some of the teachers wish lists mm -hmm. for the upcoming school year um and if you want to get involved with that there's a link tree link mm -hmm. in my instagram and twitter and the club also has it and that'll take you to like the list of teachers that are looking to get uh school supplies for the upcoming year okay and you know when i worked weekends it seemed like we were covering a laundry project event every weekend <laughs> it's like you you all were doing it a lot and you told me since 2016 since you were in ohio you've been involved in this why is this so near and dear to your heart so when we first got involved, we didn't, we didn't know much about it or mm -hmm. realize the impact that it had. Um, when we started doing projects and we started talking to the people coming into the laundromats and learning the stories and um, really seeing the one-on-one the -on -one impact that clean clothes can have, it really resonated with us and it was something that we didn't want to take for granted and it was something that we wanted to continue to do and it's a uh, it's a small thing for us mm -hmm. to give back to the community that we live in. And talking about community, uh, you're really known, obviously, on the field, but off the field, too, everything that you do with the community. When did that start? When did you gain that heart for the link? Um, I think for me, like growing up, uh, I grew up in a small town, mm -hmm. um, very community oriented. Uh, and I think uh, my parents instilled this idea that giving back to your community, giving back to others is um, something that is just part of life. Mm. Um, they both, like my mom was a nurse, my dad was part of the school board, like they volunteered all the time. And so for me and my brother, it was just something that we saw all the time. Um, and I think as we've grown up, like it's just kind of been part of who we are and what we want to do with our lives. Okay, so August 7th, you'll be yeah. headed down there. People still want to donate. Do they have a chance to do that? Yeah, they can donate, um, but we're going to push everybody to the wish list okay. for the, the school teachers because uh, right. right now the project's all ready and set wow. to go, and uh, we want to focus on clearing those uh, school supplies. Absolutely, and we have that link on our website yeah. at kxan.com. Brad, thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for having me. David